Bakersfield residence, Libby speaking. This is Mr. Bakersfield talking. Daddy! Isn't the snow super? Baby, it's cool, real cool. Robbie! Daddy's on the phone! Hello, Dad. Hi, Robbie. Are you coming home tonight? Well, at the moment, honey, I'm not so sure. You see, I... Say goodnight, girls. Mommy wants to talk to Daddy. Good night, Daddy. Good night, Dad. You hung up on me before. Don't ever do that again. I'm sorry, but I was rushing to get out onto the field. Well, all right, all right. We don't have time to argue about it now. You have a dinner jacket there. Meet me at the hotel. I told you I can't make it. We've got an emergency. I have to stay here probably all night. You can't. You can't keep doing this to me. Listen to me, Cindy. In the past month, you've scheduled me for seven of those charity wing things. And I've made four of them. Now, that's not a bad batting average. I'm not a ball game where you keep score. I'm your wife. Well, then try to remember it and think of my position for a change. Well, that's a hell of a thing to say. I'm only thinking about you. This isn't just another dinner. Dad'll be there and he wants to talk to you. He's been talking to me for 15 years and I've been saying no for 15 years. And why? It's a wonderful opportunity. I would think that you two would have gotten the message by now. I'm not interested in your father's job. I've been in aviation for 20 years. That's what I'm trained for, that's what I like, and that's my life. Yes, and what kind of a life? This would give you regular hours. We'd have a chance to be together and with our children. And your income would be three times what it is now. Sure, sure. And we can join the country club and get a bigger house. And what's wrong with that? Now, let's get something straight. I'll support my family my way on the income from my job. And you don't give a damn about our future. At the moment, I'm just trying to survive the present. Well, maybe you won't have to. What the hell does that mean? You figure it out. <laughs>